So my name is Tyler Hoffman, I'm with MemoMe, and we're here showing the memory mirror. Great. So tell me about the memory mirror, what is it? Got it, so the memory mirror is a device and a platform that makes the in-store shopping experience digital, interactive, and social. It allows the user to uh, try on clothes, step in front of the mirror, uh, see themselves in 360 from behind, pause, review their try-ons, and it's a mirror that remembers you and recognizes you when you come back. So you're able to see previous try-ons without having to go back in the dressing room repeated times. You're also then able to, uh, to share all of your try-on images with a spouse, get feedback on a, on a potential purchase, and complete that purchase in the store. If you don't buy in the store, you ne then have the opportunity to take all of those with you, uh, all of the images with you on an app, uh, either the store's app or our app. You can review those outside the store, get feedback, and complete a purchase from outside the store. So for consumers, it's a, it's a very uh, pleasant experience, but it doesn't cause them to have to go through a whole new shopping uh, paradigm. They're used to trying on clothes, standing in front of a mirror, and this takes advantage of that uh, tradition. For retailers, there is also the opportunity to uh, do a number of things with their customers that are new. Number one, 85% of customers, shoppers, come into a store, try on clothes, leave without buying anything. Those are anonymous shoppers to a merchant. This creates a higher incentive for those users to register and become a connected customer with the store. And once they're a known quantity, the retailer can then have a dialogue with that shopper uh, that, that they otherwise would not have had. They also have a trove of rich data that they get uh, from, on all of the shoppers who are standing in front of the mirror and engaging with it. They're able to get gender, weight, height, and a number of different characteristics. They can map those characteristics to style and to taste and be able to see how different, uh, different styles and different clothing interacts with different uh, demographic distributions. And it also creates remarketing opportunities. A store is able to access the data and see that a specific consumer is looking at one outfit repeatedly after they've left the store. It's an opportunity for that merchant to send them an offer and turn that into a conversion. Merchants also have the opportunity to retarget customers based on the preference and the outfits that the customers are showing the greatest interest in through their try-ons. And so the real value proposition for retailers is being able to convert the 85% of consumers who remain anonymous today into connected, active, transacting customers and to take the shopping experience in-store and to make it digital, social, and interactive, both in-store and out. So, Importantly, a consumer is able to take all of their try-ons with them on a mobile device. They're able to see them, they're able to share them and get feedback from loved ones, and ultimately they're able to transact. Furthermore, they're also able to do some manipulation. So if you've tried on a black jacket and it's available in red and silver, you also have the ability to see that actually in the app, in red, in silver, on you, without having to go try on another jacket or even return to the store. So what's really great about this experience is that it doesn't require the consumer to do something new and different and radical. Consumers for decades and decades and decades are used to trying on clothes and stepping in front of a mirror. They simply do the same thing. They try on clothes and step in front of the memory mirror, but now the mirror recognizes and remembers them. So when you try on multiple items, now you can be remembered by that mirror and you can review yourself on the screen in each of those previous try-ons. So importantly, the user controls all of their own data. They have the right to uh, control their images, delete their images, and remain anonymous uh, to the retailer, should they so choose. Um, so if you can kind of step through the app the way that you talked about it, that yeah. would be the best thing? Okay. So as you can see, I'm sorry, I, do I, I don't even need to comment as you can see. I'll just step through it, okay. Yeah. So the exciting thing about the mobile app is it allows you to take the in-store experience with you and you're able to review all of your try-ons outside the store. Also, if you've, for example, if you've only tried on, all right, I'm gonna start that one over, sorry. Your, your description now won't be used. The description during the interview will be used uh, for the audio. Ah, okay. You're just telling the editor what he's looking okay. at so he can match it Oh, I see, I see, okay, got it, got it. All right. So on the 
So there's also a mobile app for the retailer where the store associate can sit down with a registered user and review previous try-ons. They're able to see uh, different outfits that have, sorry, sorry guys. So there's also a mobile app, so there's also a tablet app for the in-store associate. So there's also a tablet application for the in-store associate at the retailer. They're able to sit down with a registered user and do all of the things they can on the mirror. They can view previous try-ons, previous outfits, and they're also able to show a user what it would look like in a different color.